Hey there everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, you'll see that I'm still up in the high desert, this time putting in a little time in on the Crooked River outside Prineville, Oregon. For me, this is where it all started about a decade or so ago. And so today, I'll prove that there are fish in this river, but I'll also spend a few minutes talking about my Gazelle Hub Tent. This thing is awesome and really changed my enjoyment of camping for the better. I'll cover some more gear in future episodes, so don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications for all the big fun. guys about to uh, set up a little camp here and I thought I'd take a minute to show you my uh, gazelle tent this is a uh, t3 tent three-person tent as you might guess um, I don't know that these are made anymore I think they've got the t3 plus or t3 overland or some other version but not the uh, original t3 uh, they also make a t4 and on up uh, up the line here but the key thing about these tents is that they are hub tents what I love about these, rather than the domed tents that are about three feet tall in the middle, and you're always leaning over to try and get some uh, some room to breathe or change your clothes, these actually are just about five and a half feet tall in the center. So for a guy like me, I can pretty much stand up in the middle, uh, which makes all the world a difference. And as we all know, with tents, if you've got a uh, one-person tent, you can't even fit a person in there. If you have a two-person tent, you might be able to put a person, but not much stuff in there. So this is perfect because it's a three-person tent. I can put me in there, I can put a cot, I can put in a couple camping chairs, uh, my cooler. I can actually have a setup worthy of stuff here. So I thought I might take you uh, through the setup process here. Couldn't be any easier. What I love about this bag, all you've got is a couple of cinch rings here that, uh, that operate pretty well here. You've got a great big bag in terms of space. You can see it's a little bit oversized. That is awesome when you're trying to put the tent away. So. Uh, really have enjoyed this really high quality materials here where you can pick it up move it around let's get real this is not a backpacking tent this is a car camping tent and so um, don't don't be thinking you'll be taking it into the uh, into the wilderness on your back with this thing here but it is sturdy uh, and sturdy for a reason you'll see here with this hub tent is that the sides basically just pop out. Pop them out one at a time and you'll get yourself the hub structure which I see. So it really couldn't be any easier to get all four going at the same time. Here's the last side that up. Now you can see we have these doors on the side here. This is the different way that these hub tents open up here is their corner doors. You won't find them in the side. 
the nice big screen part is here as well. And what we'll do, is we'll get the interior popped up now. Big push. There you go. That's the four, the four corners popped up here. I've got it sitting on top of my bag here, which I did to hold the hold it from blowing away. But you can see, it's up nicely here. Now we've got the rain fly. How many times have you seen a rain fly when you're struggling for four hours to try to figure out which way it goes, how to tie it down, all that kind of good stuff. I think that's one of the better parts about the, uh, the Gazelle system here is that uh, the stuff on the top goes on pretty darn easy. So we'll throw that on there. See, the last pole just fits in. That, got these little tie downs here that just kind of loop around the side here to keep them in place. And uh, they do have a nice grommet hole here if you want to tie it down. Same with these things here. If the wind gets pretty howling uh, and you're worried that these sides will pop in, which, by the way, I've been in 20, 30 mile an hour winds all night long. These things haven't budged. But if you're really worried about it, you can tie those down to a stake and keep the pressure on them out, out like that. There you go. She's ready to go. What I will do is probably roll up the door on the side here. See a little tie to keep those from flapping in your face when you're trying to go in and out all the time. And do the same with these on the inside if you really want to, but I'm going to leave it open because I'm going to start bringing stuff in. Okay, so here it is all put together. Let's take a look at the final set up here and you can see that I've got just the screen door set up here and right the bat what you're gonna be able to tell is that I don't know if you can see how tall it is but I'm standing in the in the, in the center here and uh, I have to crouch a little bit here it's not too bad what you'll see is that I've got got my REI soft-sided cooler in the corner you see I've got a little little chair that I can uh, Goes up to and have a seat in, which I think I'll do for this. And then you can see that I've got a couple of room, a little bit of room for camping bins in here. And then I've also got my my Coleman cot that I have down in here. And you can see that I also have the uh, REI self-inflating bed here, just for a little comfort. And because of the R value, if you uh, have done any cold weather camping, you'll know that uh, sleeping on on something without an R value underneath you really suck the life right out of you so to speak i also have this um quilt camping quilt that i got from uh from the folks at costco i used it a couple weekends ago really liked it so i'm going to use that again this is a 30 degree sleeping bag which um, i sleep on top of for cushioning but obviously if it gets cold you can hop on inside of it bring your own pillow folks when you go camping you got to do that so you'll see that uh, i've got all the the windows zipped open unzipped I guess that would technically be and um, that's pretty helpful uh, for the cross breeze which I could sure use some more of today because it's a hot one but anyway um, three-person tent it's got room for me and I've got a little room on the side there where I put some storage and some luggage and then of course got I've got the cot which has room underneath of it as well so yeah the setup for tonight so there you have it a little time on the water 
and a bit of a peek at a pretty awesome tent. I'll include a link to the folks at Gazelle Tents in the description below. And nope, there's nothing in it for me. I'm about as unsponsored a dude as you're going to find. I just love their tent. So get outside everybody, go find a river, and get a line wet. <laughs>